Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a get ready with me video of Wander Beauty products. So what I'm going to start out is this is not Wander Beauty, but I just wanted to try some stuff is Unicorn Glow Primer. I got this in my Ipsy bag a while ago and I just wanted to start out a new primer. So I did it all over my face and then I put it on my lids. So we're going to test it on the lids. And the other item that I used is Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Spray. Just give a little bit of moisturizer. So then I go in on my Sigma F82 brush. It's a round top Kabuki. I use Wander Beauty and Catch the Light Highlighter and Glow Lotion. So this is Glow Lotion. I'm just going to put it on my brush. I don't have very much left in this tube. Just gives me a nice good glow to the skin. And the highlighter is on the tip part, so this is the highlighter. So it's like two-in-one product. It's kind of handy. So I'm going to put the glow lotion as the base. Just on my cheeks, on my hair. Just really quick. And I'm going to test out, I have two foundations that I have from Wonder Beauty, two of them. So I have a light one, which is in Fair, and then I have light. So I think I'm going to go with a tanned one, or I can mix them together. And I got this in my Ipsy bag for $12, and it retails like $42 American. So it was a really good deal, I could not pass up on Ipsy. So thank you, Ipsy, for allowing to get some add-ons. So this is my first time trying this foundation. It's a liquid foundation. Oh, it has a doe foot. What? Oh, that's a big doe foot. I'm going to cover this dude up. Hmm. Wow. I was not expecting that. I'm going to go back to the brush because my sponge is in the wash. A light scent on it. I have a really red face. So this is going to even out my second tone. And then we're going to use the settings powder. This is not sponsored. Just going to put that out there. I buy my own products by Wonder Beauty. I just love their products. So that was one layer. Not bad. Pretty good. Of course. It's very even. I guess you could. Um, let's see what else I have. I have lots of stuff by Wonder Beauty. So. Oh, they have a translucent powder. This one. Really unique because it has a little powder puff. And the powder is in the powder puff. So you just tap it on. I think they did a video where they broke it open and all the powder is inside the puff, just to show you. Nice little compact mirror to take with you. So that's the translucent powder. Um, I guess I'm going to use the light and use it as my concealer because it's lighter than this is light and this is fair. Oh, this is light. This is fair. So I guess I'm going to use fair. Oh, it's taped as my concealer.
all taped up, so sorry. Taped. And then I'm going to use this one for my concealer. Ooh. That's handy. Very handy. And I usually have a different brush. Concealer brush, so I have a Morphe G8. I just squish it together like a booty blender. powder and set it. So. It's really unique that it's in, in the little powder puff. That's kind of cute. So... Shimmering. It's a exquisite eye liquid shadow in champagne. So I think we're going to use this as a base. And then we're going to just use our finger and dab it all over as a nice base and it's nice tacky base before we put the powder on now I have four Wander Beauty palettes I have fling spring fling I got this trip for two it's a blush and contour trio I have Dust to Dawn, which is blush and highlighter. I have Off Duty. And I have Seascape Foam. I'm missing one palette, so I'm going to use this one, I think. So it says blue, and it says one, it has one dark color, and since we use champagne for the eyes, maybe I'll use this palette. So we need a fluffy brush. Oh, my hair, so I got a Farah brush, double-ended, so I have a fleshy brush on this side, so it's really good. I'm going to get sand dollar. Pick it up. I'm gonna put it in my crease, make a transition in the shade. And these palettes are very like neutrals, not very I'm trying to give very, very neutral. It's great for an everyday look, just if you want to go to the post office or grocery shopping or something. We're going to take this champagne color, really light color, just on my finger. Just put it right on top of my lid. Really, really. And so that other color is very, uh, tacky and it was good for a base application it makes these colors pop a lot okay 
that's nice. Grab more of the sand dollar and just pack it in the corner. And get like a kind of like a halo effect. There. It's pretty. It's pretty. So a little bit on lower lash line, not too much, because I had some skin irritation the other day. And I think we're gonna grab the the pink color in the middle, which is called sea salt. And I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle, I think, or on the back side. It's better on the back side. Just a little bit more added color. It's pretty, pretty transition. Pack that in there. Right there. It's great. Alright, so that is three colors in that palette. And just gonna make sure I blend it a little bit more. Perfect. Next, we're gonna go in with some. Um, I need some highlighter and blush and contour. So this is the blush and contour palette, and I got this in my Boxy Charm box. I think it's in January for two. There's the colors. It's a nice rosé pink. I got this really cute blush brush that I won in a giveaway. It's like a rose. Super cute. I'm gonna grab that blush. Put it on the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. And then I need a contour, small contour by Luxie, and take it into that color. contour bit and then underneath on my double chin. And then oh, we're gonna get my highlighter. So I'm just gonna put that back. I got this really cute highlighter from Wonder Beauty. It's Wonder's Glow. It's from an Ipsy bag. It's a pretty highlighter. So I'm get my highlighting brush. It's the Morphe 510 brush. Just rub it in. It's pretty there. Yeah, you can see that, eh? Do you see pattern? Down my nose, on my nose. And hmm, I have two mascaras. So I have High Mile and I have uh, Unlashed. So I have two. Before I do mascara, I like to set. So I go getting mist has some shimmer in it, so I'm going to set my face first. And then... Oh, I have two lipsticks. So I have a dual-end lipstick. 
be bright, but I don't feel like a bright color. And then this is a nude. It's pretty nude. And then I also have, oh, Beach Balm Sangree. I've been using this one. It's pretty. So I'm going to use this one for beachy. Oh, what else do I have? Oh, I forgot to use this one. It's a foundation stick. Next video. I got a big foundation stick. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try this next time. For my uh, Tuesday reviews. So I use those. I also have... I think it's an eyeliner. Oh yeah, it's indigo eyeliner. It's a blue, but I'm not wearing blue today. So I'm not gonna use that right away. And I'm not doing a cat eye. So I'm gonna time that. So I'm going to get in, and I'm going to use High Mile, because it's like such an awesome mascara. It's a straight wand, and unleashed, or unlashed, and I believe it's a curvy wand. Yeah, it's a curve. So for curl, maybe I'll use both. Let's do that. I use this on my upper and I'll use the other one on my lower. Gives you a little bit more curl, and then I'm going to use High Mile on the lower lash line because it's a straight wand. Looks great. Goes back in its box, so I know it's really new. And, oh, lipstick. So I decided to use Beach Bum. And it's not this really red, but it's like a really nice pinky color. It's like a balm. Very moisturizing. Yeah. So it's really good for a sunny day or a dry day. But, yeah, that's my look. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or my Instagram page if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.